This set obviously has the Charizard and everything in it, but what I'm looking for mostly is probably any Cinderace, Scorbunny, Raboot, Shiny. I think those are the most exciting in terms of, I guess, this channel and whatnot. I've been holding on to these boxes for so long, so actually being able to open them now, dream come true. Perfect. I got the first one open. Had to pull up my trusty blade to actually get into this. But um, obviously, I mean, these are sick. These are like the premium ones out of Japan, so you, you get 10 out of these. And then there's more packs in this, as you can see, in just one box. But uh, today we're going to be opening two, so let me go ahead and get the other one open as well. The last video, I had a few technical difficulties trying to get everything ready and set up, but this time it should be much easier to actually deal with everything going on. I mean, I didn't even know how the audio would sound or anything like that, so I mean, hopefully I do a little better in this video to fix everything. Um, that was an issue in the first one, but uh, we'll just have to see when we get there. Let me mix some of these up. I haven't opened a Japanese set in so long, so I'm actually really excited to get opening these. I mean, without further ado, let's get into it. I also forget how difficult it is to open some of these packs uh, in the first place, but... Okay, um, these cards, I remember, you're supposed to go to a website and then you can enter the code here to uh, get one of the mythicals. I think if you have like 10 points per, um, I'll probably, you know, give a few of those away because I only need two of them, I think, and not out of the three. So um, if I can just pull those, I should be good to go. Starting off with a more Peko. The fucking ducklet, I think. Something like that. Silicobra. The Gal Galar Forest. Aegislash. Trubbish. Hollow Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko. Talk about a Pokemon that always messes me up in the ladder. Hollow Clefairy. V Max Eternatus. And finally. A dreepy, but with this weird uh, oil stain reverse to it. These, I, I'm going to bind with most of these. So um, what I'm planning on doing is trying to, not necessarily complete the set, but put it, getting the normal one of this and then sliding it on top if I get the oil one. So I have to put this one to the side as well. Oh, yeah, okay. Opening it from the bottom makes it... 300 times easier. Good to know. Flip it around. Oh, okay. So this box apparently is one of the newer ones. So I don't think... Yeah, these just come with a little promotional garbage, whatnot. I'll just put that there for now. Um, we have the sword. The bug that no one likes. Coughing. Scoop up net. Runarigus. And a shiny ducklet. There's our first shiny of the day. Then we have a hollow Cursola. Hollow Zamazenta. Double V. And then a reverse Galarian um, Corsola. You know, this card, I have too many of this. When Champion's Path came out and this was the promo, in one of the boxes. I, for some reason, bought like five of these, so I have just too many doubles to care enough even for this card. Let's see. Yeah, this comes with a little, this is one of the promo card ones. At least it's Score Bunny though. That's pretty neat. I might actually leave one of these Score Bunny ones up here now that I think about it. Uh, maybe I'll just throw it back here somewhere. I did put the... Y you can't see it in the frame, but I did put the little keychain thing um, from the last video up in my display. And again, I'll be doing one big um, kind of collection video in itself to kind of just show off what I have around the desk and what I have in terms of things to open still. 
So hopefully that should be coming out fairly soon. I think I want to open a lot more boxes before I actually do a whole collection update. Um, so we'll see where it goes. We have Toxel, Clefairy, the baby to the horrific creatures that they put in this game, Air Balloon. I always forget this one's name, but... Oh, Drizzaw. Ugly. What energy is this? Dracovish. One of the abominations. Um, why am I forgetting the names? I, I don't know why I'm forgetting names right now. I think I, I think I have Alzheimer's. Lapras V, and then an oil stain. Roly holy. There we go. And I have a lot more Shiny Star V I have to open in the first place. So that should be exciting in itself. Ooh, got the Gigantamax Cinderace. This is also gonna have to go up somewhere. I'll just throw it. I mean, it's not gonna look good, but I'll definitely throw it up here regardless. But yeah, I'll show it on the next one, but like there's a whole set to it. There's 24 in total. So, I mean, if you can collect them all, kudos to you, but they, they hold no other value other than just like kind of completing the set. We have Impidimp. Ghastly, Wulu, uh, Thievul, Tool Scrapper, All Creamy, Hollow Bolton, Hollow Obstagoon, uh, V Max Rillaboom, and then an Oil Stain or Beetle. Who. Okay, unless you chose Druki just to be the starter, who actually likes Rillaboom? I don't get it. I. I I don't plan on like selling any of these. The prices here are just to kind of give a kind of range to what the card could be worth if someone's interested in it. Um, I might be open to doing trades uh, eventually, but I, I would like to expand my collection just a little bit more. But the Gigantamax Pikachu, this was always, I thought this was probably the best design for Gigantamax. And, and you can see there it's 7 out of 24. Just show off the set number. Oh, also, God Packs. Could get a God Pack, we never know. We have um, the, the first hat, or no, the second hat, I forget its name. Galarian Mr. Mime. Uh, Mincino. Uh, Hop's House. Who likes Hop, also? I, I don't know if anyone likes Hop, but I don't know, I, I liked him endgame. He was pretty cool. Barascuda. I swear, in the same pack, I always get whatever the shiny Pokemon's gonna be. Shiny Mangina. What? Th this is actually such a cool card. There's my Cinderace. There's a Hollow one. Hollow Zacian. Another Double. And then an Oil Stain. What's the middle one's name? Is it Dartrix? Oh, it's something like that. So far, not terrible. I mean, my shinies have been very underwhelming, but I think I, th I think I get like at least like five more. No, not five more, like six more. Something like that. We have, what's, oh, oh, on the back of these, okay. Oh no, so these, am I, oh, some of these have a code on the back and then some of them don't. Oh, I, that's good to know. Okay, so this one did have a code on the back, but uh, I got, this is Single Strike Urshifu. That's cool, I guess I should check these as well. Okay, so one of them had a, no, both of these had a promo on them. Or like nothing at all afterwards. So I guess I'll just put it over there and then I'll, I'll reorganize it later. Continuing. We have a Milsery, Blossom, the Tiny Feebass. I've been using, in my water deck, I use the Feebass and the newer Milotic that has the heal 20 to all party ability. Very good. I mean, water decks always have really good ability to like heal, but I think it's, I think it's just really good, especially if you pair that up with like the, uh, the Frozmoth. And then use, if you could use any of the good water types, obviously, but um, 
Our deck's on the rise. I, I tried to start off this game using a dark deck and like a normal as well. Just didn't really work out. Oh, okay. Well, I grabbed two. Um, regardless, we have a hollow Arctazolt, an amazing rare Yveltal. Look at that. That's sick. I forgot how much these are worth. We have the VMAX, uh, Dragapult. Bruh. I got the, uh, the full art V Mac or the full art V in the last video, so I guess that goes well with this, but it's not the shiny one. And then at the end, we have a glossy sword. I have too many piles of just rares and whatnot that I'm trying to keep organized because I want to make sure that at the end, I put or I show off each card that's kind of relatively to it, so like all the V's in one part and then all the hollows in one part. But my piles are stacking up already. This set is just so jacked. And I mean, if we can get a god pack, that makes the- oh, I didn't move this card. Um, if we do get a god pack, that'd be insane. I'd be so gassed. But at the same time, what are my odds? Like, 1 in 200? Something like that? There's the G-Max Blast Toys. That's always really cool. The Veroli Coley. Trubbish. Eldegoss. Right? Eldegoss? Yeah. Pierre's. Pierre's is also really, if you're starting a dark deck, this is like a must need now at this point. Galarian Darmanitan. I have a friend that bought the deck that came out with this card. And for some reason, it, it just takes out so many of my decks. It's insane. Like the, the deck for this one comes with the Kingscon that has Revenge Blast on it. And this card by itself is also really good. I mean, four for 170, it's like, it's not the greatest, but the abilities on it as well. I. I think it's something crazy. I might put the English one on the screen, but um, regardless, this is a Capture Energy. Hollow, what is this one's name called again? The Stonehenge, Stone Stonejourner, Giorno, Giorno Giovanna. I got another Amazing Rare Yveltal. That'll go great on another one. Uh, Zashian V. This is, I, I actually like this, this promo. So the promo in English for this was the one that came in the tin. Um, but they just made this one the normal Zacian in this set. And then a uh, glossy Zigzagoon. And then with the annoying ability where you take 10 damage if you put it on your bench. So that with the scoop up net is too broken. I need to find a better alternative to how I'm managing my cards and whatnot because originally, so why I have these elite trainer boxes in the background is because I use them for storage by type, um, but I'm starting to run out of space out of these unless I move some of them around and whatnot, but sometimes I just get too lazy to do that. And from my other videos, I, I would, oh, I guess I can technically pan over a little bit. Um, I'm just kind of like storing them in the corner right there for now, but regardless, I, I need to find a better alternative for that. Also, that custom red bubble block, Sinful Jaime, check it out. I will definitely link them. They make some amazing Team Rocket art, and I'm a big Team Rocket fan. Japanese sets are always so difficult to open. I don't get it. Why can't they just be like the American ones? The American ones. <laughs> the North America ones. That, uh,. Sometimes the glue to it is just like non-existent. You have coughing. What is this one's actual name? Like Wimpidimp or something like that? No, that's uh... I'm thinking of Impidimp. I, I forget this one's name. We have the sword. Why do I... Can I get the middle evolution? Uh, this was like... I forget exactly. Hone Edge, I think. And then like Dewblade or something like that. Um, I forget, I forget this one's name. A Hiding Energy. A Chinchi, no? Hollow Toxicroak. Hollow Gengar, look at him. I was, I actually, this was like one of the other ones that I wanted just to have. This, this Gengar, one of the best starts they've put out in a while for Gengar. A, what's this one's name again? NDDV? And then a glossy school bit. My glossies so far have been very underwhelming. They need to pick it up. 
this set, I think it, I think it's gone up in price by quite a substantial margin. I mean, I already bought both of these kind of retail for like 88, I think. And, you know, that's not bad at all, but I think they got up to like 130 at one point. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to what they are right now in terms of price. But a lot of the boxes that I've had, I've, I've been really lucky about getting them for a very good price. And so, I mean, hopefully, you know, I didn't just waste any money with these, I guess. We have a Marnie Hollow. VMAX Toxtricity. Bruh. This card is also, I, this, this uh, G-Max actually is, I would say, probably in terms of like the newer Pokemon, I think this is the coolest one. But regardless, I still really like that, uh, the fat Pikachu. That one's really funny. And then uh, Oil Ocarina. That's a better oil stand at least. I probably should have just grabbed a scissor to cut these open, but I also don't trust myself with cutting a pack open. Here's that Galarian Articuno. The the bird, the bird lore. Why? It just makes no sense. I, I like the designs. I think they're really cool, but why? Impidimp, Wooloo, the fossil, Santa Cobra. We have a, I forget, what is this called, this thing, oh, there it is, shiny Rillaboom, Rillaboom, sorry, um, I mean, someone can have this if they want it, I don't really want it, a hollow flapple, oh, that took a, oh yeah, that was a shiny slot, right, a hollow hoopa, an eldegosvi, and then a worm trash oil stain. We are approaching the halfway mark. If I just manhandle these packs, then maybe it'll work, but I'm also making a huge mess behind me, but it's all right. Is this, I guess, it's still confusing on which ones have the code, uh, codes or not. Roly Coley, Hatterene, no, that's not Hatterene. I forget what the regular ones are. There's a uh, Dewblade or whatever the hell the thing's called. Um, Every, I've, I'm forgetting names right now. I, I'm really tired, to say the least. Bird Keeper Toby. Right? Or is this just Bird Keeper? Am I saying the YouTuber? I guess. Santa Scorch. Hollow Toxtricity. Hollow Suicune. A Shiny Grimmsnarl V. I don't know how much this is worth, but... I mean, okay. My problem with it is that the color scheme, I don't think it hits. Like, they could have done something way cooler with it, but I also don't dislike it. Like, it's still very cool. I still really like this, but... I swear, oh, look at that. Look at that shine. But, regardless, I, I don't know. I think they could have done a few things better about its design, but it's still really cool. I still really like the Pokemon in itself. And then, uh, Oil Few Bass. Also, like I said, if the glare from the Rayquaza up here needs to go let me know i hopefully get a little bit of feedback from the last video that i can uh work on see how i can improve my background and whatnot there's another blastoise can i i i might i'm interested in actually trying to complete that set because it's like it's not something you'd expect to try to complete but regardless got the the broken sword You've got the Banjo-Kazooie character. The shiny Dreepy. I'll take it. I mean, I need these smaller evolutions to actually get somewhere, so. Hollow Copperaja. Hollow Appleton, I believe. Bruh. Toxtricity V. And then a Oil Stain Hyper Potion. That one, I, I was terrified on that too. No, no, I'll just throw them over there now at this point. I, I've given up on trying to keep them organized. Oh, these feel crisp. Hold on. Got the hat. Yamask. Galarian Yamask and Runarigus. Very cool. One of the better Galarian designs. Got the duck. Raboot, my boy. I'll put him, I'll put him right here. He can be here for the whole video. Hyper Potion. Sigilith. Galissapod. Hollow. Okay. Go somewhere there. Uh, Hollow Grimmsnarl. 
Gorilla Boom V. Stop. Bruh. I don't want him. And Bog, I'm the Bog guy. This is, I think, the halfway point. I think I've opened about 10 packs. So far, not bad, but I'm definitely expecting more out of Chinese Star V. I mean, from the other openings I've seen, it, it this is like juice, but I'm not really getting the juice right now. It's like nothing that's really mind-boggling about it. Give him more Pekka. Silicobra. Fucking Cursola, or no, Corsola, whatever the hell the thing's called. Double Colorless. Corviknight. Shiny Yamper. Look at all oh, the pink Yamper. What a sick card. What is this one? Ice Q? The Galarian Farfetched? A nut? Okay. I get it. I get it. You don't like me. I, I understand. Who? Oh, and uh, Oil Snom. That's cool. Who gave me these? Who, who gave me these boxes? Were they like, yeah, you know what? Let's give him the same exact cards. He'll like it. It'll be awesome. He can make a whole set out of it. He can use two shiny Pokemon in one set. Get out of here, Southern Cobra. I also learned in the last one that it said, uh, fuck a lot. I apologize. It, it, I was cringing when I was editing. Just a little bit. We got a score bunny. You can also go here. Did I, oh, I did get a Cinderace. Hold on. You go there as well. Dartrix. Phalanx. Drizzle. Drizzle. Drizzile. Um, Turfield. Ariados. We got the Hollow Orangaroo. This card still very. I don't. I don't understand how this is always in rotation. Got a hollow wheezing. Lapras V, another Lapras V. And then a oil stain broken sword. Again, I don't really know the prices of these, but fuck it. There it is. I don't really know the prices of any of these Japanese cards. They're a lot harder to find prices of unless you just go on eBay and look them up. But regardless, car cool. Grookey, Dedenne, Ball Guy, we've got Thwacky, Hiding Energy, I think. No, this one, I forget exactly, oh no, this is a Horror Energy. Ice Q, we've got an Amazing Rare, Kyogre, this card is sick, I, I wanted this card. I mean, all the Amazing Rares are obviously really cool, they're amazing and rare, but the Kyogre, it's different. And then you also have the little details of making here. I might be able to get a better shot of this. You can get like the the energy requirements and even like the smaller or weakness and retreat cost and everything. All that becomes shiny on this. Bruh. Uh, ditto. And then the Dreadnought. Oil Stain. I also apologize. I'm so the music I'm using was just one that I found online, and it's I'm probably just going to be using it for the same amount of time because I don't really know the policy to YouTube and music and whatnot. So apologies if you go insane listening to it a few times. Professor Magnolia, Bruh. a Dragapult V. And then an oil stain Ariados. I was steamrolling through these. I only have this and two more packs. This is pretty underwhelming, if I do say so myself. Got the Sobble. The Chinchino, Mingino, one of the two. Feebas. Uh, what is this one called? I, I said it earlier, and now I'm already forgetting what this is. Gossifler. The Rusted Shield. Galarian Mr. Rhyme. This one's also pretty cool. I don't like Galarian Mr. Mime, but Mr. Rhyme, I approve. Evolution Incense. Hatterene. Actual Hatterene this time. This I think this ability is actually pretty good. You've got a Hollow Hoopa. Another. Another Eternatus VMAX. I got duplicate boxes, I swear.
Only two more packs remaining. Get another score, Bunny. A Nicket, right? Galarian Mouth, Mouth, Meowth, or Beetle. Got a Rainbow Energy, or whatever energy this is. The Swamp thing. Here's here's the card I was talking about. The Milotic that has the Heal Twenty. Very good, very good card. A Hollow Colossal. Bruh. A Cramorant V. And then an Oil Stain Clefairy. I need redemption on these boxes. The Nessa box that I mentioned has Shiny Star V in it. So hopefully I make up some of what I've lost so far today with those boxes. But regardless, here's the last pack. Could be redeemed. You never know. This could be the god pack I was waiting for. Ready? Nope. I'm just going to open this. I mean, still, I can't really be disappointed. There's a shiny Galarian Weezing. I suppose there's something, at least. You got a hollow Frozmoth. I mean... I think I think this is the the ability that I was talking about. That's you can move energies as much as you want from your hand to your bench, Pokemon that are water. Very good. A Hollow Decidueye. A Zarzenta V. And an Oil Double. I guess it's time for a recap. So to go over what we pulled today. Here's our Hollows. Quite. Quite a hefty stack. I mean, the value you get out of Shiny Star V is that you get a lot of really good cards. Also, the Hollows for Japanese sets are just way better most of the time because they have like the shiny out border as well. But regardless, you have Decidueye, Frozmoth, Colossal, Milotic, Hoopa, Hatterene, Magnolia, the Duracell Battery, Weezing, Orangaroo. Far-fetched. I, I, I think you get the point. I'll just... There's quite a bit. And here's the first one we got. I won't show the oil stains because, I mean, they're not very important, but... They're the V's that I got, at least, and the VMAX. Got the Cramorant, the VMAX Eternatus, a V Dragapult, a V Ditto. Didn't even get the VMAX Ditto, that's a shame. Lapras V, Rillaboom V. You know what? Just. Oh, I'll, I'll throw it over there. Got a Toxtricity V, Eldegoss V, Toxtricity V Max, and DDV, Zacian V, a Dragapult V Max. Double V, really boom. You can also go over there. I'll, I'll do you one favor and just go ahead and put you right in the trash. Another Lapras V, Double V, and then the Eternus V Max. Not much from the Amazing Rares, but I mean, we got two Yveltal and then one Kyogre. Going over our Shinies, we got Weezing. The Dog, I forget, uh, Yamper, Dreepy, Rillaboom, Chinchino, Minchino, one of those two, Ducklet, and then guess what? Two of the same exact card. What a waste. I mean, the Shinies were super underwhelming. I got, I didn't get one that, I mean, actually, the Dreepy and Yamper are cool. I, I like these, but these four or five, completely useless. I have no use for these. But... So far, I mean, that's it. Again, actually, I need to move these. But regardless, I'm trying to get better at these, obviously. Hopefully, it kind of shows in the quality of my videos more and more. The first video I had to upload about three times before it actually worked properly. So, again, we'll have to see. And next video, I think I'm going to be doing uh, the Marnie... Uh, champions path box as well as the 
Japanese promo set for Marnie. They did one for the different trainers. I, I can actually grab it right now. I had received this box that has the hollow Marnie with the signature and then a big playmat, or not playmat, a uh, collector's binder. So I'll open this and then the Champion's Path box to go along with it. So that's it, later.